Всем привет! I'm sure that most of you guys try to create legend from view filters in Revit and realize it's not possible by default. I've got great news for you guys. There's a new button in EVE Tools tab that can do it for you. Stay tuned if you want me to show you how to do it. This tool is part of EF Tools extension. I have a video on my channel how to install it. Link will be in the description of this video. Now, let's get back to the tool. Click on this button in EF Tools tab and it will give you this neat interface. And here you can choose between your views and view templates and you can filter them. I will type EF in this dialog box and select all of the views I prepared for this video. We can ignore all of the settings and just click on Create Legend. In here, it's gonna give you a lot of information about your filters. First of all, you get much better overview of what's going on with your filters. And secondly, you can verify that your filters do exactly what you want them to do. And when you want to make a legend, delete all columns that you don't need. In this case, I don't need all of this. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with lines for that legend and move this over here. Here we go. Also, if you want to modify multiple text nodes, I have another tool in EF Tools tab that can help you. Click on this button right here and we can add prefix type. I'll click on rename. We can close that. Here we go. Here's our legend under 30 seconds. In case you want to adjust sizes of your text, lines or regions, you can look at the settings in the dialog box. I can choose another text type and adjust sizes of my lines and regions. Oops, I nearly forgot my views. Let's find them same as before and create legends. If I open our new legend, you can see that it's red all over the place. The regions have new size as well. There are a few warnings that you can encounter with this tool. One of them if you don't have any legends in the project and you try to run it. If I click on the button, you get this dialog box saying that there has to be at least one legend in a project. You can just create a legend and then run the tool. And it will run as usually. Another little limitation is when your filters have multiple rules assigned to them. It will just display multi-rules in square brackets for now. If you use a lot of multiple rules with your filters, let me know down in the comment section how would you like to display and control them. Maybe together we can find a better way. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Leave a like if you found this video valuable. Also I have a page on Patreon if you want to support development of EF tools. Link will be in the description of this video. Have a good one. Goodbye.